Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a screen replacement as well as removing the motherboard on the Google Pixel. So this is what the screen should look like. It's a full LCD replacement. You can find it on eBay. So here's the tools that you'll need. A heat gun, a metal spudger, a plastic spudger, some tweezers, a T5 pentalobe screwdriver, a razor blade, and you might have to use a pick. Alright, so we're going to grab the heat gun and we're going to start heating up the phone. You don't want to heat it up too much because that can actually damage the motherboard. So now we're just going to grab the razor blade and we're going to work our way around the edges in between the frame and the glass. So once you've made your way around the perimeter, you can start gently pulling up the screen and you'll see right underneath the screen is the LCD and digitizer connection onto the motherboard. You'll just want to grab the T5 pentalobe screwdriver to remove the two screws that are holding down the metal plate. Grab the plastic spudger and gently disconnect the LCD digitizer ribbon. Alright, I'm just going to pause that here and you can fast forward to near the end of this video to just see how to do a simple screen replacement because that's all you really need to do and you can just start installing the new one now. If you want to learn how to remove the motherboard, you can continue watching here. Now we're going to grab our T5 pentalobe screwdriver and we're going to remove the nine screws holding down the frame. Grab the SIM ejector tool and just eject the SIM tray. We're going to take our razor blade again and we're going to use it to pop out the frame. So it's just held in by a few clips and also it is connected to the motherboard with the little ribbon here. So you're just going to want to disconnect that before you completely pull it off. All right, and now we're going to disconnect the battery, charge port ribbon, side buttons, as well as the left and right radio antenna wires. Grab the T5 pentalobe screwdriver again and we'll remove the two screws that are holding down the motherboard. Disconnect the headphone port and then you can safely remove it and the side buttons. Take your plastic spudger and work your way under the motherboard and use a twisting motion to kind of pop it up. And then on the back, the fingerprint reader is connected so make sure that you disconnect that before you fully remove the motherboard. Now we're going to remove the microphone. And we're going to disconnect the back facing and front facing cameras just to remove those. So now we're just going to install the new ones. So we're going to want to reconnect the fingerprint reader on the back of the motherboard before we put the motherboard in place. And then we're going to put the two T5 pentalobe screws back in. And then we're just going to make sure that both of the radio antenna wires are properly in their little housings on the side of the frame. And then we can click them in and then we can start installing the front facing camera and the headphone port. And then you're just going to want to connect the charge port ribbon which I had removed and then we can install the side buttons, reconnect the battery. And then you can take your frame here and connect the proximity sensor back onto the motherboard. Clip the frame back in. And then we're going to take our nine T5 pentalobe screws and screw them back in. So here is probably where you'd want to fast forward to if you were just doing the screen replacement. So we're going to grab the LCD and digitizer and we're going to connect that back onto the motherboard and we're going to put the little metal plate back over top of it, install the two T5 pentalobe screws, make sure that there's adhesive on the screen, and then you can put the screen down, test the screen out, and you're good to go. Alright guys, thanks again for watching, like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, bye!